Hi. Uh, here I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown of the uh, Scout Network uniform, uh, different parts of it, and some FAQ. Uh, there's also some badges that are missing from the official diagram that do exist that you can wear. So I wanted to raise some awareness of those. Um, so diving right in, I'm going to go into the fact that there is no activity badges that exist for the network. Um, this is an interesting thing that um, it's kind of questionable, really. It means that Scout Network has less of an incentive to do activities. Uh, but in reality, there are more important things that you should be focusing on when you're in network. Uh, specifically, for example, the, uh, the sorry, the King Scout Award that uh, exists currently, uh, the Explorer Belt Award, the Scouts of the World Award, um, and the Duke of Edinburgh's Awards. Uh, these are the most important things to earn during a time in network scouts. Um, in reality, it's very difficult to earn a King Scout Award, uh, but if you do, you actually end up going to uh, Windsor Castle and doing a parade there with other King Scouts, and this is the highest award in all, all of scouting that you can earn. And um, once you've earned it, it stays onto your adult uniform forever uh, to show that you have reached the pinnacle of scout craft, basically. Uh, it's the same as an Eagle Scout in the US. Um, perhaps even more distinguished, who knows? Because of its requirements but it is certainly a point of pride here while you're a network scout you can also wear either the uh, chief scouts platinum or chief scouts diamonds award uh, but those do not stay in your uniform once you become an adult so it's worth trying to get that king scout award because it's the most distinctive and most important in all scouting to get as part of getting that uh, you also can get your duke of edinburgh's gold award um, and for the Platinum and Diamonds, you can get the Bronze and Silver Awards too. Uh, you get a, spe spe a special badge for that on your left side here. But again, once you go into adult section, once you leave network, only the Gold Award can be worn there. Uh, so it's worth trying to do that. Um, you'll notice that there is the Young Leaders Belt here. And you can also get the Young Leaders Service Award that goes up here. Um, you cannot earn these in network, unfortunately. You have to have earned your Young Leader badges in Explorers. Um, but if you've earned your Young Leader belt, you can wear that um, on your network uniform and your adult uniform once you leave network. Um, but you can also, if you've done your Module A Young Leader, you can wear the Young Leader Service Award down here. Uh, the two most important things after your DOV, really, is the Explorer Belt and Scouts of the World Award. Uh, Explorer Belt you can earn in both Explorers and Network, but Scouts of the World you can only earn in Network, so it's actually rarer than the Explorer Belt award. The Explorer Belt requires 10 days in a foreign country <clears throat> as part of an expedition. Uh, you'll find that while counties do run Explorer Belts for Explorers, uh, they tend not to run them for adults, and as Scout Network you class as an adult. But luckily the rules have changed a bit, so if you want to self-lead your own Explorer Belt expedition, you can do that as an adult. You just need to get a number of other Scout Network members together. And you can basically just go off by yourself as long as you get the correct clearances from county and district to do that. It's worth getting as well because, again, this is one of those awards that sticks in your uniform forever. So it's worth certainly getting. And the Scouts of the World Award is a more interesting one, but this is actually internationally recognised. This is an international award. Um, and this requires you to do 80 hours of volunteering uh, separately to any other awards you have on your uniform uh, and attend a discovery event about the Millennium Goals for sustainability. And the, your, your sort of voluntary work has to be on those sustainable goals, essentially. Um, but once you've earned that, that goes on your uniform forever as well. Uh, there's actually three other awards that you can wear uh, and earn that aren't on this diagram that also can be worn into adult uniform. That is the Scout Wings Award, uh, which goes here, which is a set of gold wings. Uh, if you perform a parachute jump, you essentially qualify for this. It's kind of nice to wear. I'd advise trying to organize some kind of charity parachute jump to do that. Um, but it's certainly a point of pride if you earn that. Uh, the two other ones are the uh, Welsh Dragon Award and the Scottish Zodiac Award. Um, those officially can go a number of places. I'd advise putting them maybe on your arms, sort of here and here. Um, the Or if you'd like, you can put both here. It's really up to you. 
um, but those are awarded if you camp uh, for every month of a year as well as a couple other requirements you can find online um, but those are pretty prestigious awards that you can wear as well. Uh, moving up the arm, we have the Moving On Award here, uh, which is given to you or you can wear if you've ever been in uh, regular scouting before um, Before this. So if you were a uh, Explorer Scout specifically, you can wear that Moving On Award. Uh, if you were uh, a regular scout and you went straight to network or whatever, um, you know, if you missed out Explorer Scouting, you can't wear that Moving On Award. Once you become an adult, you've got to remove this, unfortunately. Uh, there are occasional badges here which are given out for national events or for camps of some kind. Uh, you can only wear one on your uniform at any given point, and they only last for three to six months usually. Then you've got to take them off and replace them with a new one, um, or just take it off altogether. And uh, you should put it on a, bl on a, a scout blanket if you can. Um, if you've not got a scout blanket and advise you get one, um, the tradition is that you take all the badges you've earned from previous sections, that being Explorer Scouts, Scouts, Cub Scouts, etc. And you put them on your Scout Blanket along with any past occasional badges you've earned. And that way you have sort of a resume of your scouting history that you can wear like a poncho essentially. And it helps to inspire the younger people to get more into scouting. Uh, additionally, it actually serves as a family heirloom too. So uh, my... Uh, grandfather late grandfather uh, was in scouting as was my father and all of our badges are collectively on um, a scout blanket and it's one of those connections i have back through my sort of family history and i'm sure when my uh, grandfather and and uh, great grandmother put together that blanket then they really had no idea what was what it was going to be essentially um Moving on up here, we have, the, for example, the Welsh badge. We have Northern Ireland and Scotland. These are part of the identification badges that are worn usually on the right arm. Uh, there is none for England, unfortunately, uh, which is kind of annoying, but that's how it is. Um, for this, it also has the county, district, and network name tape badge. Um, essentially, this just shows which county you're from, which district you're from, because as a network, you're going to be doing a lot of stuff around the country, ideally. Uh, for example, Explorer Belt is going to a different country. Um, Scouts of the world, you tend to have to move around the country to do your discovery event, things like that. So this shows exactly where you're from. And if you've got a bunch of badges, it's it's quite nice to have that, that prestige go towards a certain group. Um, you may or may not have a local network badge. You probably don't. These are more usually on a scout level um, rather than network level, but you may have one. And sometimes it's worn on the scarf, sometimes it's worn on the on the uh, shoulder here. But this is something you've got to ask your district about if it exists or not. Uh, moving across here, we have uh, the Union flag. Uh, if you've actually done your Explorer Belt Award, you will have this badge. Um, this is given to any member of scouting who goes abroad for a scouting activity. Or attends like a jamboree or large scale scouting activity in the UK. Uh, where there is international participation, so people from other countries have visited, and you can wear that further on uniform too. Uh, the Cornwall Scout badge is very rare to get. I don't think you can actually qualify this for this even as a Scout Network member. You've got to earn this as uh, a previous member of Scouting, so I'm not going to mention what this is really for, but it's for uh, hardship, uh, sort of suffering hardship and continuing through, I believe. Network badge is a free badge, you can decide to wear this or not. It basically just distinguishes you from adult volunteers who aren't network. It's a purple badge that just says network on it and you can optionally wear that. Personally, I never did, um, but because yeah, I didn't know it existed. But you know, it's up to you whether you'd like to get that, feel free to. And really finally, from all this, we have these awards here, gallantry, mer meritorious conduct, things like that. Um, as a network your member, you're most poised to get these actually. So gallantry and things like that is usually for using your scout skills to help someone in a dire situation, like saving someone's life with first aid. Um, but you can actually quite tangibly get things like the commissioner's commendation at this point. Um, if you volunteer to be youth commissioner for your district, and you do that, do that for a couple of years maybe, uh, chances are you'll get a commissioner's commendation for doing so, uh, which you can wear forever and is quite rare to get, even amongst adult members of the uh, of Scout Association. Um, and you can wear that forever. 
Um, beyond this, there's not really much else to mention. Um, on formal occasions, you can wear a blue tie instead of a necker, but really I'd go for a necker at all times because it's just so much nicer, I think, really, a bit more distinctive. Um, if you're a member of your local active support network, uh, there is actually an active support uh, badge you can wear here. If you're not sure what that is, it's to do with helping your group or district for extra manpower where they're lacking. Um, so talk to your district about that one. Um, if you're a scout network member, but you're also a scout leader, if you volunteer as a scout leader as well, um, you can actually earn a, a Gilwell scarf and Gilwell beads for completing your wood badge, which are again uh, something you can wear forever if you earn your Gilwell uh, wood badge beads. Uh, quite distinctive and, and rarer because it shows you've actually taken an active part in scout leadership. There are of course the uh, navy blue trousers you can wear which go with the uniform. Um, obviously you can wear uh, jeans if you'd like but in reality if you're going to go for some of these top awards where you go to formal occasions uh, I would probably wear those uh, navy blue trousers rather than jeans clearly. Or alternatively a blue skirt if you um, or of the uh, female variety, or whatever the case might be. Um, that's really everything to mention, other than uh, Sea Scouts and Air Scouts exist. Um, if you are a Sea Scout, you wear a peaked officer's cap. If you're an Air Scout, you wear a beret. Um, you'll know whether or not you are one of those, because you have a different colour shirt than the standard um, so leadership, leadership shirt, basically. Um, if you are uh, Irish or Scottish, you can wear a, um, a kilt of some kind, which you can look under guidance for. Uh, beyond that, if you are a, a member of guides or a female, you can actually earn the, uh, the Queen's Guide, sorry, the King's Guide Award as well, um, which goes around the same place as the, uh, the King's Scout Award down here. Um, that's about everything really to mention. Um, hopefully that's been useful and have a great day. Bye bye.